Hello friends. If you're like me, when you're adding an effect, it can be a case of right clicking in the FX schematic and opening folder after folder, trying to find the effect that you're after. Often forgetting which folder you last saw it in. And to help you with this, you had the FX search pop-up shown at the bottom of the FX schematic window here. So if we open that, you can then simply search for the effect that you're after by starting to type in and only the effect with that name in its title will appear. And this is really useful for finding effects that you don't use very often, or even sometimes to see the alternate version of the same effect. For instance, the over effect has two versions, the standard over effect in the layer blending section and the over INO effect node in the layer blending INO folder. And these two are two slightly different effects in that the over INO node has only two inputs, for setting a foreground and background. And if you're only using two inputs, this makes it really easy to see which input is for the foreground and which is for the background. But if you need more than two inputs, then the standard over node is much more useful because you can add as many inputs as you need. And the FX browser is really useful for finding effects, but having it as a pop-up kind of gets in the way. But now in the latest nightly release, the FX browser can be docked into one of your rooms and in fact is already docked by default in the FX room. So here at the bottom left of the screen, you can see the FX browser docked into the view. And if you want to dock this into other rooms, you can simply press the FX button to open another copy and then redock that. So not only is the browser dockable like this, but you can also add your effects in a quicker way. So if we search in the filter box for say the brightness effect, I can simply click and drag this onto a space in the schematic to add it. Or if I want to, I can click and drag it onto a connecting line between a column and the output or in between effects. Or if you drag it over another effect node, you can replace it. So here I replace the blur node with the brightness node. And you'll notice that as I'm dragging these effects into the schematic, you can also see the adjustable attributes of that effect in the docked attribute viewer area. So that also makes it much, much quicker to see all of the available settings for different effects. So if the brightness effect doesn't have the settings that you need, maybe it's one of the levels effects. So for adjusting the levels, if I drag one of those on and replace the brightness, you can see what the options are there for changing it. Or maybe it's the level auto INO node that we're after. You can take a look at the options there and then just keep checking over each of the effect nodes to see which is the one that has the most appropriate options for the effect that you're after. So do check out the latest nightly build of Tahoma 2D and try out the new dot effects browser and effect settings and you'll soon see it'll speed up how you use effects. And that's a guarantee.